Carlos is live now in the CNN Center atrium in front of the world's largest bracket with a man in charge of the University of Louisville's double dose of success. What say you? Yes, Robin, this man right here knows exactly what's going to go. Who, he, he, he's, he knows who's going to win the championship, but he won't tell us because he's, he's biased yet humble. Dr. James Ramsey is the president of uh, the University of Louisville, and I thank you so much for joining us first and foremost. And how do you feel about your Louisville Cardinals on the men's side uh, becoming the fan favorite after this crazy week that you guys have had? It, it's special, but it's been very emotional. It's been a roller coaster. Uh, our first uh, thoughts when Kevin was hurt was, you know, the, the, the injury. Mm -hmm. And then to see the outpour of emotion, to see how his uh, teammates reacted, to see the team praying over Kevin and Kevin put, saying to the team, go out there and win this game. And then, you know, the surgery being successful, the uh, Kevin being able to be on crutches and walk on Monday, come back to campus on Tuesday and be here on Wednesday. It's just, uh, it's been an, uh, an emotional uh, roller coaster, but to be the sentimental favor, favorite, I think is very special for us. There is a little bit of controversy surrounding this because just this week there have been t-shirts that have been printed up by Adidas that say rise to the occasion and the S in rise is the number five for Kevin Ware and a lot of people are saying, well, how can Louisville A profit off something that is, is a horrific leg injury and B, of course, Kevin Ware can't receive any of those funds. Right. What do you think about that controversy? Well, we won't profit. Uh, I think the intentions were to honor Kevin mm -hmm. and uh, there are uh, restrictions on uh, using an individual player to, to promote uh, and to profit from. So as I understand it, Adidas will take whatever proceeds are generated from that and give it to the general scholarship fund of the university. So the university directly will not benefit uh, from the actual promotion of the t-shirt. So you have two teams in the final four. You have the Louisville men's team and the Louisville women's team. That's almost a bigger story because you guys knocked off Baylor, which everyone thought was going to be, you know, back to back champions. Your schedule is crazy. You're here until when? Uh, I gotta get my day straight. It's Sunday, today, today's uh, Friday, so then Sunday. Saturday Louisville plays Wichita we'll State. Be, we'll be there, and then Sunday we'll be in New Orleans. You fly out Sunday morning to New Orleans to watch the uh, ladies, yeah. And then of uh, course you've already booked your flight back here for Monday, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to be too presumptuous, but we're, we're we want to come back to Atlanta. <laughs> the PR guy is pulling his hair out because the PR guy's like, "No, be humble. Please stay humble." <laughs> that guy, he's proud but humble. Is that what it is? What is it? What, is it? Be humble. There we go. Okay. Stay humble. But yeah, but you know, so you have a, a crazy schedule of back and forth and then maybe back to, to New Orleans on Tuesday. It'd be great if we could do that. But our we're so proud of our women. They were a fifth seed. They had a lot of injuries this year, overcame those. Mm -hmm. So they're a great story and they're great uh, student athletes. We're very proud of Jeff Walls and his team. So uh, yeah, we were in Oklahoma City Tuesday night when we beat Tennessee. So uh, we want to support them Sunday night in New Orleans. Have you Okay, real quick, one last question. Have you ever had a week like this week? I mean, you've been doing this so long. Can you remember a week that's had so many different emotions, ups and downs? Oh, it, it's been special. I mean, every, every day is a different day as president of a university. But this has been, this has really uh, united our uh, community, our campus in a very special way, uh, both, you know, with the injury and all the success. So, uh, you know, it, it's great, and uh, we're very proud of the University of Louisville. All right, uh, Robin, I got I to gotta admit to you, Dr. James Ramsey, the president of Louisville, is also big, and he's an economist, he's big into the economy, and he said that Jen did a great job breaking down the economy in her last segment. She goes, he's, she, she's doing a really good job. That's a very good chart. So there you go. He Excellent. Gives, he gives Jen Westhoven two thumbs up. There we go. That's great, the, great. Go. And, and he probably, um, you know, understood and, and got it right away when she said, oh, um, right now this jobs report is, uh, is, is a stinky dog with fleas on it. <laughs> yes, he liked that analogy as well. There you go. <laughs>